What happens to the cash value of your life insurance policy when you die? That mean, nasty insurance company keeps it all, don't they? Well, not exactly. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. Most people aren't familiar with insurance, so I'm going to use an analogy with something that most people are familiar with, which is buying real estate or buying a house. Let's say your home is worth $500,000. And let's say over time, based on the mortgage payments you made and the way that your home appreciated, you have $200,000 of equity. Now let's say you decide to sell your house. Do you get the $500,000? Or do you get the $500,000 sales price plus the $200,000 of equity? I think we all know that answer. The equity is actually part of the sales price. They are not two different separate things. Now let's use the same analogy though with life insurance. So let's say you have a $500,000 policy where you have 500,000 of death benefit. And then based on the amount of money that you've paid in premium over time, plus the interest and dividends that you've earned, you have $200,000 of equity. In the insurance business, that equity is called cash value. Again, when you die and the death benefit pays out, it's not $500,000 of death benefit plus the $200,000 of cash value, but neither is that $200,000 a separate account that the insurance company is keeping. The $200,000 is simply the equity that you've built within the death benefit. They're not two separate things. So I hope this brings some clarity and understanding to one of the most misunderstood concepts in the life insurance business. All right, thanks.